Okay, I'm going to inventory the three small bags. Uh, this one, the one with the plastic parts, and the one with the metal parts. So the first thing I'm going to do is open this bag and see what's inside. Okay, um, you got two kinds of uh, uh, Velcro here. Um, sticky back Velcro, that's pretty good. That'll come in handy. This Velcro here I've used before. It's uh, it's not as good. Uh, it's a cheap kind of Velcro. Uh, I don't like it. Um, I prefer to use the real Velcro uh, one wrap. So I will use this to uh, in, in place of this white uh, Velcro that came with it. Uh, this just is hard to use, uh, so you can use it if you like, but uh, I'm going to use the Velcro one wrap. Okay, uh, this uh, sticky back Velcro is probably all right. <clears throat> um, okay, so the other thing we got here is uh, double-sided uh, sticky foam. That's going to be handy. Uh, I'm not sure where that goes yet. Uh, it may only be used for the electric. This certainly is for the electric motor, uh, so we won't need that. Um, uh, so I'm just going to set that aside. That's not going to be needed. <coughs> this is the um, uh, ring that goes on the front of the of the fuel tank, so we will definitely need that. And we need the uh, this tray will hold the three servos. Um, note that the holes are already drilled. Um, you got four holes on the outside that mounts it down and then you can see the two holes here that are already pre-drilled and uh, I'll check and make sure that they're hardened that make that may make the uh, installation a, a bit easier but if they've done that it appears as though they're slightly discolored meaning they probably put uh, um, CA in to harden those holes but I'll check that out be back in a second with the next uh, uh, bag. Okay, so the next bag I'm going to do is this um, uh, bag of metal uh, parts. There's quite a few in there, and um, um, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop for a second, sort them, and I'll be right back show you how I sort them. Okay, so what you see here is how I like to organize everything by the functions and what they do. So the top row of things here is for the landing gear nose wheel. Uh, so there's the landing gear, um, the nose wheel gear. And you have two collars at the top, one that sits here and one that sits in the white plastic arm that will steer it. And um, then there's another white plastic piece that uh, screws into the firewall and this is for that. These two pieces are for the firewall. Uh, I think those are three-quarter inch long. And then the bottom two um, wheel collars are to put on either side of the nose wheel. Um, so then uh, these four long screws, along with a lock washer, a washer, and a nut, uh, four of those uh, are for the mounting the engine to the engine mount. So these mount the engine, these mount the engine mount to the firewall. So you got four um, screws, four lock washers, and four regular washers, and that will mount the engine mount to the firewall. You got um, two axles for the main gear, large nut to hold it onto the main gear, and then you have two for for each axle you have a um a wheel collar for the inside and a wheel collar for the outside and what's nice about these wheel collars is a lot of times they they use cheap uh uh phillips but these are actual um there you go hex head um uh, I think it's 332 seconds uh, hex 
uh, for those. Maybe they're not. Maybe let me see here. No. Okay. So these aren't three thirty seconds. These are. Make sure you have one. Is a seven sixty fours hex driver. Okay. So all these locking collars uh, have screws that take a seven sixty uh, fours hex driver. So make sure you got one of those. That'll be in the completion guide for building. Um, so those four lock um, collars go on the two axles. Down here you got what are called quick connects. You got a sort of a brass piece, this little plastic piece that keeps it on the bottom. And then you got a, um, uh, I believe this is, yeah, okay. So these are 330 seconds um, uh, screws that go in the top of this that hold the push rods. Now, uh, you're going to see more of these in the completion. I like these. These work well. And I will actually use more of these and less of the white plastic things you'll see later. Okay. Um, these four screws here, I'm sorry, these four screws here, are to mount the flap um, uh, control horns. So there's two uh, control horns for the two flaps and these screws mount those. The control horns are in the white plastic bag you'll see in a minute. And uh, <laughs> these four here with these four nice little um, washers don't have a clue what they are yet. That's okay. Um, these four um, screws and four washers I believe are for the uh, engine mount for the electric um, but uh, not certain of that but in any case I believe those are extra and I believe these are extra if uh, that turns out not to be the case okay so um, I'll be back just a second with the uh, white plastic pieces okay here's the bag of white plastic pieces and I'm going to open it up and we'll see what's inside here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So you got um, these two um, are to mount the tail fin. Uh, they're quite simple. Uh, actually not sure what that is yet. You got two um, uh, control horns. So I'm going to put the two control horns over here with the um, screws that go with them. Uh, those are for the fin. These are the two bolts that bolt the wing on. They're pretty nice bolts. I'll probably use them. They're white. Sometimes I use black ones. Those are nice. Okay, so these four pieces um, uh, are for the engine mount. Okay, now I think there's a problem with this engine mount. Um, but I will test it and you'll see later. I might use it, I might not. It depends upon whether the uh, push rod for the um, throttle um, will actually fit and you don't have to bend it. I think the instructions say bend that push rod. I don't like to do that. There may be a better way to mount that, but that's what those are for. Okay, then you've got these, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six clevises along with six plastic, uh, uh, I'm sorry, silicone tubing, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six silicone plastic tubings. So these uh, are the clevises to use for the um, Sorry, one more. Seven. Um, so there's uh, two, four, six, seven clevises. Uh, I don't like plastic clevises. They tend to break. The problem I have with plastic clevises is this little pin right there. That little that little pin right there uh, tends to break if you take them on and off too often, which I do to make sure my the mechanical uh, things are are okay. So. I am not going to use those. I'm going to use this, made by Great Plains. They're steel clevises. 
Uh, they're, the, they're the same size uh, for the push rods, the 2-56 there that you see. And uh, so I'm going to use those instead of the plastic ones just because I think they work better. So um, those will probably be extra. <clears throat> and as I said, I've got a whole package more of these. These are the Great Plains um, uh, push rod connectors. So I've got a whole package of those and I will use those instead of these plastic keepers. These plastic keepers will come off and I just don't like them. Um, so I've got uh, those. So there's one, two, three, four, five of these little plastic keepers and I just probably won't use them. Okay. And then this is the white plastic piece that will go with um, uh, the nose gear uh, to mount to the firewall. And this is the arm and it will go with one of these um, collars to uh, steer the nose wheel. And um, I believe this is a, um, a piece of tubing for to uh, run the antenna through. Um, might do that, might not do that, we'll see. And these are shrink wrap tubing and the purpose of this is to shrink wrap around the um, <clears throat> um, the wing servos need an extension uh, to reach from the end of the wing uh, into the cabin and you you use a piece of shrink wrap tubing uh, to make sure those are tight. I, t I usually use um, electrician's tape, the shrink wrap tubing is there, I probably will use it. Okay, so here's how I package them up. Um, I'm going to take the um, engine mount um, parts, put them all in a small little plastic bag. By the way, these plastic bags here you can buy at any craft store. So that plastic bag has the engine mount stuff. Um, that's the engine mount. And uh, I guess these are the same engine mounts. So the, these go in here. That's for the engine. So that's all for the engine. And I take the engine mount and uh, I create a larger plastic bag for the engine mount and drop the engine mount in there, drop all the screws in there, and then that's all set. And so I'll stop for a second. You know, these are our, for all the landing gear. I may do this one for the main gear, do a different one for the nose gear and um, I'll certainly have one for the flaps and um, since I'm not going to be probably not going to be using those, those don't go in the engine mount. So uh, I'll show you how I they're packaged when they're when they're complete. Okay so here's how I bagged up all this stuff. There's the main gear with uh, the parts that go with that. Uh, this is the throttle, uh, the throttle servo and uh, the parts that go with that. There'll be other um, servos later uh, for the wings and so forth. Here's the bag of extra parts in case I need to decide I'm going to use some of those. So here's, here's the tank with the wooden um, ring in it. There's the nose gear with all of its parts. And these are the flaps, um, control horns, 
what I'm going to add to this bag is the servos and the other things that, for that. So here's the engine mount with all its parts. There's the horizontal and vertical stabilizer uh, bolts. And there are the wing bolts. So that's how I package them all up. And uh, they're much easier to find. I throw them all in a box. And when I want something, I know right where it is. Thank you. Okay, the last thing to inventory for the small parts are the, are the um, push rods. So you should have four push rods. Um, they'll be uh, threaded at the end. And you can see here that I've uh, attached one of the uh, uh, metal clevises. That's this uh, Great Plains steel metal clevis. And uh, so I'm going to use metal clevises on all the push rods. And, um, and also, don't forget to put the, the little uh, keeper on. Because uh, uh, you don't want that little clevis coming apart. So you got four for the wing. Uh, that's two for the ailerons and two for the flaps. And you got two medium length ones. Uh, they're all threaded on one end. Um, and one of these is for the nose wheel steering. And the other one's for the throttle. Okay, and then you got two really long ones here. Uh, again, threaded on one end. One for the elevator and one for the rudder. So that completes the inventory of small parts. Thank you.